There's a bunch of different ways of recording PowerPoint. I'm going to use the add-in here. And what we're going to see in this video is what happens with markers and what you can do with them. As I go through my PowerPoint presentation, each slide has its own slide title. This one's called Terrestrial Planets. And when we're done with it, uh, we can hit Escape uh, to finish off our slides. Camtasia asks us if we'd like to end our recording. Say, sure, that sounds great. And it's going to ask me for a name uh, for that recording. I'll hit Save and yes edit please now in the editing process when we bring that down onto Camtasia and we drop it in uh, it gives you an option to import the slide notes if you want to you can use those notes to begin to create uh, some closed captioning but for our purposes we'll really just focus on the slide titles now um, in here we've got uh, the first slide title the Milky Way I can click on it and see that it actually says the Milky Way galaxy gives me a thumbnail it's helpful next one is terrestrial gas versus gaseous planets and then the third one is simply slide three so if I go back over here and I can see that the third one is actually called terrestrial planet so uh, let's go back and we can change the name of the markers here okay and uh, you'll see it updating down here I can do the same thing for slide four and slide five if I like to uh, I can additionally uh, I can delete uh, one, I can right click, and I can rename uh, that one as well, and then it opens this up here for me, and I'll call this one um, More Planets. Okay. Uh, in case it wasn't clear, I can also move them up and down uh, the timeline as necessary. Now. One of the ways you can use markers is markers do help you in making edits, um, but mostly it's used in creating what is called a table of contents. This table of contents is different than a normal MP4 file. Uh, so when I go, I can go and produce this file. Let me do that right now. And I'm just going to create an MP4 only. I'll just do it really quick. Hit next, click OK. And I'm just going to call this one um, only MP4, just so you can see what it looks like. Okay. And uh, I'm going to play the video after it's done being produced. Should go relatively quickly. And what you'll see, like I said, is just the video. It's kind of like just the picture. There's nothing more to it here uh, other than it is just the video itself. However, if I want to add navigation to it that's where the table of contents comes along and a video in and of itself does not have that so you're going to have to add more to it uh, when you go to uh, share you'll go to a custom production setting sorry low I apologize I'm gonna go to local file and if you want this to work seamlessly um, I would go to screencast.com because this screencast.com does indeed support your table of contents Alternatively, you can go and do an MP4 with a smart player file. Uh, let me click that and you'll see where this comes up. I'll give this a name. We'll call this one Planets. And let me actually go. I think I need, hold on, let me a second. Uh, I think what I really need is custom production settings. Let's do that. There we go. Uh, so we're going to use MP4, my apologies, MP4, and we're going to produce with a controller. Uh, we're going to have it pause at the start, and we've got the size set, we've got the video set, audio settings, options here. There we go. It is a table of contents, and we can even make that table of contents searchable. So uh, we'll create that and click Next next and now you can also see uh, the, what the table of contents titling is going to be you can number uh, the markers if you want and you can also have it so that it's initially visible at the beginning on the left side on the right side etc so let's go fix left uh, hit next and we're gonna go uh, planets um, with the table of contents and you can see now that it's producing a whole bunch it's producing the mp4 which is the normal video and an xml file a javascript file let's create an html file if you're going to take all this this has to be uploaded to your web server um, 
like I said, that might get a little bit of complicated, um, but that's why we have screencast.com as an option, which I can show you here in a second. So we're going to render this out. It should open up into a, an HTML file here. And now we have our table of contents here on the left hand side. As I mentioned before, uh, if you want to have all of this playback from your web server, uh, take all of them, upload them, and then link people to the, uh, sorry, to that HTML page, and uh, they should be able to see your full video. If that is not, uh, if that's a little bit more complex than you like, uh, then I would definitely recommend going to uh, screencast.com. Uh, you'll create a login and a sign in and you can choose the table of contents option and uh, that's about as simple as it's going to get. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Bye-bye.